Hey guys, it's Harleywood. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about your get home bag and how much might be too much. I've done a couple reviews. Um, I've done a review of that bag and I think I've done two or three videos over the years of what I actually keep in there as I've progressed and things have changed. But today I want to talk to you about how much may be too much. Uh, in those videos that I've done, a lot of times in the comments people call me out for having multiple uh, solutions for the same thing, for fire and things like that. Uh, there's a rule of thumb in prepping. Uh, one is none and two is one because you never know if one of your objects or one of your solutions may not perform. So there's not a whole lot wrong with having duplicates, especially if you carry yours the way I carry mine. Mine sits in the bed of my truck or in the cab of the truck 100% of the time. In the event that I need something, and it happens quite regularly, it happens if I'm at deer camp or when I recently sold a condo, I had to come into this thing and get multi-tools out of there and all kinds of stuff. I actually got the ax out of there and was pruning bushes in the back of the condo. So I get in this thing quite often, but it sits in the back of my truck. It's not something that I'm carrying on my physical person every day. And as such, I don't mind carrying a little bit more weight in there. If something did pop off when I was at work and I had to make my way home, I can go through the bag and I can assess the contents and I can assess what the situation is going to be walking home. I pretty much know the routes that I would have to take and I would be able to say, well, I probably don't need a handsaw and a small hatchet. I'd probably just pick the handsaw. It weighs a couple ounces as opposed to a couple pounds for the hatchet. So if you carry yours like I carry mine, feel free to load it up. Load it up, do whatever you want with it. Just remember when you go to get home, uh, you may have to assess what's in that bag and make some decisions on what you actually take out with you. If you are not like me and you don't carry this in a vehicle every day, but instead you're carrying it on your person, totally different ball game. I believe the rule of thumb in hiking is it should only be 10, 15, 20% of your body weight. I'm not a hiker, so I don't, but I've, I've heard the statistic before. I'll post it on the screen right here, you know, if, if I can find a, a, a resource. But for me, I weigh about 205 pounds. That would mean I could carry about a 20 pound to 40 pound pack, depending on what that statistic ends up being. This one right here weighs 36 pounds. Again, if I had to bug out or you know, get home, I could take some stuff out of there and I could probably easily get, get it below 30. Now, it all, it's also gonna depend on your health level, on your ability to, to ruck one of these things. Recently, I did a Montana elk hunt and we hiked many, many miles every day I had my hunting bag, not this one, but it weighed about 35 pounds. And yeah, there were times where it was really challenging to, to have that on your back, but I had that plus a 10 pound rifle and, and I made it, you know? So it depends on your ability to, to perform and do that kind of work though. So make an assessment on your physical health and make some decisions on your bag as such. Anyway, that's it guys. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button below. Got lots more videos to come and we'll see you on the next one.